and all of a sudden it hit me like a light bulb this is right after the second guy uh, mentioned it that he wanted to see how I wired those pants together yeah thank you both of you yeah, it took me a long time more than nine months to, uh, to get this thing wired correctly Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I got uh, Miley all uh, disassembled here at the front end because uh, I'm trying to uh, chase the wires on my existing radiator fan setup. Uh, one of my subscribers was asking me, he made a comment that How did I uh, wire my radiator fan if I do have a video of it and I told him I don't have and all I did was just uh, connect them together I've got some pictures over here that I can show you later on this is my existing setup I have made a pigtail which consists of a three connector uh, the two at the bottom are connected on each fan and this one here is connected to the existing car wire right here so if I go here on my uh, drawing illustration and this is what I have so this is the three connectors this connected to the existing car and those two are just connected to one another but so far I never have any problem of a uh, blowing fuse or anything like that and it never occurred to me that uh, yeah I should not be running it like that well you know what it's because of the uh, Snow White's uh, setup on the, my CD5 Accord I was using two separate connectors one on each fan and I just checked it earlier again and yeah they're both running I mean you saw it on the last uh, I was making the poor man stuck in radiator yeah it was both of them are running but I have no idea why why it's working on the condenser side connector the other fan on on the accord so that's why I got this thing disassembled and I wanted to uh, mimic you know try to hook the other fan on the uh, condenser fan side but somehow this one would not work yeah it's just, it's just weird it's just very very weird so anyway uh, this is the new wiring setup that I'm thinking of doing uh, pardon my uh, uh, <laughs> illustration here but uh, <laughs> that's the best thing I can do <laughs> okay I have numbered the uh, the one on the left and one on the right, which is fan number one and fan number two. This is my new relay and the battery is right here. I'm going to start with the relay. The relay for, for the fan number one, I would have a fuse and it will be connected to there, right there, down to this existing connector. And I have a ground here, right there. So the power for the fan will be coming from the battery right there. Now, to make the relay work, I'm just going to simply use the other connector and just link a wire right there. Just loop it. So as far as the uh, wattage or amperage to powering this relay, I should be okay. That should be no more than that this fan can withdraw. Yeah. And I'm going to show you in the car as far as powering this relay. So this fan number one will also be controlled by the thermal switch right here. In order to get the relay work, I have to bridge this. That's for the thermal switch. 
and then I will complete my circuit. So all I need to do is turn on the uh, ignition switch to accessory two. So right now, and this relay should not be, or it should not have a audible or a resistance in between these two. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm going to uh, set the key. Number two. So right now, you hear that audible? I'm gonna check for voltage. Right there, there's my 12 volts. Again. So if I have this connected to a power source, that fan should be working already. I'm gonna turn off the uh, ignition switch. Check again, it's open, check for voltage, gone. So meaning the fan is off. And I'm thinking of putting the relay, maybe it's either here or close to, maybe somewhere here. Yeah, well I'll show you as soon as I get done making up the uh, harness and it should work safety first anything electrical is disconnect the battery the electrical power source will be uh, from here and I'm gonna route it again tuck it in Right through here, I'm going to use a, a snake, aluminum, feed it on there and just fish it through and it will link up right in this area. I put this uh, loom on there to protect it from uh, chafing. This is the uh, pieces that I have to modify. This either make me another one or I'll see what I can do. But uh, I got my power source connected, all buttoned up right here, and my fuse will be located right there uh, I'm going to use about 20 amps and I'm using a 10 gauge uh, well the fuse holder is 12 and then I connected to a 10 I could not find a, a dash 12 uh, wire on a hardware store and neither at auto parts store so I got tired of chasing <laughs> the wires around so it might be a bit overkill, but it will do. Yeah. So anyway, this is the one that I'm going to modify. I'll think of something and the next time you're gonna see this is... Here is the final setup. I managed to, uh, to modify my uh, existing uh, pigtails without doing a lot. All I needed to do was just uh, cut off the one connector and connect my relay. And I'm going to explain it, see if this will make sense to some of you guys. I know electric is a little bit hard to uh, understand sometimes, but uh, it might be different than your setup. But at the end of the day, it's pretty much the same thing. It functions the same. This is my illustration in the beginning, which is I had the battery and some fuse and some power leads that goes to the relay. And then from here, from the relay, it connects 
to another connector, which is the fan number one. And for the number two fan, which is, I'm not gonna mess around with this one so much, I'm gonna leave it uh, tied in to my existing setup, which is, it's connected to the car itself. I have the positive and negative, I have the connector right here, and it just simply connects to number two. And to power my relay, all it needed is just to connect on this source right here, which is, in turn, the number one fan is still be triggered by the thermo switch. As soon as the thermo switch close, then everything will all be powered up. So this fan will not be drawing any power source from the number two, which is an old setup is they're just all tied in together. <laughs> so right here, I just put this wire on there. The, uh, the lead that goes to the relay, it's in the car right here. This will be connected on the relay. So this will simulate that this is the power source from the battery right there, power source for the number one. Okay, I'm gonna start here. And this is my car existing wire, which is will be triggered by a thermo switch. And all it needs is connect here. Since these two are joined together, this one connect to the number two fan. And then it goes up, which is just like this one right here. It goes up to the relay. Yeah, they're connected in the relay. So as soon as the, uh, the thermal switch closes, the number two fan and this relay will be powered. And once it closed, I got one lead right there and it comes down to the number one fan. And in order for this number one fan to turn on, I have another wire right here, which is the ground. Just like this one right here, it's got a ground and it goes up and I'm just simply going to connect them like so. Yeah. I have not tried it yet. I'm gonna hook it up and we'll go see if it works. Okay, this is for the number one. And this is the existing wire and then the relay now we just put it here like so I'm gonna put a washer behind it. Now, the ground. Once we know everything is working, then I'm going to tidy up everything. Yeah, I'm gonna use a tie wrap and uh, get all those wire bundled up together. But right now, I just wanna make sure that everything runs. And in order for that thing to work, I'm going to uh, bridge the thermo switch. Everything is all connected and uh, 
It should work. Let me turn on the ignition and see how it goes. Yeah, number two is pulling air, the number one, yeah. <laughs> Good work. Okay, now uh, the test will be after I put everything back together and bring it to the normal temperature and it should work just like it should be. <laughs> All right, well, I think my job is done over here. And uh, hey, I would like to uh, shout out to, uh, there's two of you that have mentioned this. I have just, I have just checked the, uh, the comment on this one and uh, there was one nine months ago and uh, at that time, yeah, it still, it never occurred to me that I should be separating them together or at least put a, another relay or something. And then uh, six days ago, someone have mentioned it again, asking if I have a video of how I wired those fans together and boom, it's just like a light bulb. It hit me right there, said, man, yeah, I should be uh, separating those two together or add a relay or something. If you guys will do one of these, please do your research. This is just how I wired my radiator fans together, but don't do like I do. <laughs> you can use it as a, as a tool, but please do your research first. And Again, I would like to thank both of you for uh, mentioning it. So now, all it needed is turn this on and let the engine warm up. Yeah, this is just to finalize my work, make sure that everything is okay so you guys could see it too. I might cut it to the, to the point where the radiator fan is working. So right now it's 6.14 and I'll be back. It's 6.26, I'll give it another minute or so. Yeah, everything, the hose is warmed already, but why it doesn't turn on? There it is. Alright, there's my cue. Alright guys, uh, thank you guys for watching. And uh, again, this is how I wired my fan. This is after two of you have mentioned it. It took me a long time, nine months, to finally get it together. And yeah, it works. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys back. Bye everyone. Bye-bye. Not bad, not bad. Not bad of a project. Hmm. This part is always gets me. Yeah, that turbo will keep spinning for about a minute or two. <laughs>